A new year, a new attack on the Second Amendment. Let's go to New York and discuss the attack on body armor. Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. It's uh, New Year's Day, hope you had a fantastic evening if you uh, decided to partake in any festivities and uh, go against the tyrannical rule. Good on you. But I just wanted to remind remind everybody, it's a new year, but the, the fight is still on. In fact, uh, I think this fight is going to ramp up twofold, tenfold, thirtyfold this month with uh, all of the new tyrants who will be taking office across the country. So let's go to New York, the state of New York. Now this bill was actually uh, in session late last year, and it's back. And it's... It's not just one bill, it's actually two bills that were submitted related to body armor. They're very short because they're straight to the point. I'm going to read them to you. I'll have links down below and uh, I'll discuss them with you here. Both of them have been filed by Assemblyman uh, Jacobson. And I'll preface this by a quote from uh, Jonathan Jacobson uh, last year when he started to put all this stuff into to fruition. Uh, his quote is this, I was shocked to learn that anyone can own or buy a bulletproof vest in New York State. The shooter in Dayton wore a bulletproof vest. We must ban the purchase and ownership of bulletproof vests, except in very limited circumstances. Again, we're going to legislate because the small minority of people who do the violent things, we should all pay the, you know, pay the dues and the bills because of them, instead of them being held accountable for their actions. Uh, I digress. Let's go to this bill. The first one is A352. Now, these are pre-filed. They will actually be uh, dropped in on January 6th, so in just five short days. Uh, the first one, again, is 352. And this already has a few cronies who have co-signed this, specifically McDonough, Montesano, and Gottfried in New York. And I'll put it here on the screen real quick while I read it. An act to amend the penal law in relation to the unlawful purchase or possession of a body vest. The people of the state of New York, represented in Senate and Assembly, do enact as follows. The penal code is amended by adding a new section, 270.21, to read as follows. Unlawful purchase or possession of a body vest. A person is guilty of unlawful purchase or possession of a body vest when he or she knowingly or unlawfully purchases or possesses a body vest, as such term is defined in Subdivision 2 of Section 270.20 of this article. This section shall not apply to active law enforcement officers or those whose occupations require the use of body vest as determined by the Department of State. Unlawful purchase or possession of a body vest is a Class A misdemeanor for the first-time offense and a Class E felony for any subsequent offense. Any person currently in possession of a body vest, as such term is defined in Subdivision 2, shall have 15 days from the effective date of this act to dispose of such body vest at any local or state law enforcement agency. This act shall take effect 16 days after it shall have become law. So they're going to make something made of fabric that happens to be cross, cross that happens to be cross woven in a, a matter that makes things it makes it strong. They're going to make that illegal. However, if you go down to the definition, ceramics and steel and polyethylene still be okay. Here's the definition in New York. For the purposes of this section, a body vest means a bullet-resistant soft body armor providing, as a minimum standard, a level of protection known as Threat Level 1, which shall mean at least seven layers of bullet-resistant material, providing protection from three shots of 158-grain lead ammunition fired from a 38 caliber handgun at a velocity of 850 feet per second. So, New Yorkers, fight the bill. But if it does make it into law, I don't have to say anything else. But this should be fought and this should be defeated every single step of the way. However, there's a second bill that not a lot of people have mentioned so far related to this by the same assemblyman, and it's just as crazy. On screen, A353. Again, pre-filed, will be effective January 6th is when their session starts in New York. Same clown, same co-signing clowns. 
And this one says, A person is guilty of the unlawful wearing of a body vest when acting either alone or with one or more persons, he or she commits any misdemeanor or felony defined in this chapter and in the course of and in furtherance of such crime, he or she wears a body vest. Section 70.25 of the Penal Law is amended by adding a new subdivision to read as follows. Whenever a person is convicted of unlawful wearing of a body vest, as defined in 270.20, the sentence imposed by the court for such offense shall run consecutively to any sentence imposed upon conviction of a misdemeanor or felony offense defined in this chapter erring from the same criminal transaction. This act shall take effect 16 days after it shall have become law. Why did I point that out? Well, for one, there in the previous bill, they've already said that body armor is a misdemeanor on the first offense and a felony on the second offense, possession or purchase of, if you don't you know, bring it to the local or state law enforcement within 15 days of this going into effect. But what they've also said is in the second bill is that if anybody is convicted of a misdemeanor or a felony while wearing a body vest, then they'll have a sentence that'll run consecutive. And for those who aren't in the, the law area, a consecutive sentence means that if Say you had two charges and you were given a year on whatever, a year for kidnapping and a year for animal cruelty. A consecutive sentence would mean you'd first serve that one year for uh, whatever, and then the second year would start after the, you finished serving that first year. So in essence, it's a two-year sentence. However, these politicians think they're slick. The previous bill, the first bill we talked about, would make wearing body armor misdemeanor the first time you wear it or have it or see it, blah, blah, blah. Well, if you found guilty of that misdemeanor, but you were wearing a body vest, then you have been found guilty of that misdemeanor while wearing a body vest, they can give you a second sentence consecutive for wearing a vest. A totally legal item. <laughs> that because this Bobo, who, who, by the way, got into legal trouble for urinating on the side of the road, yeah, public indecency, he doesn't want people to know that. But this Bobo says, because I didn't know you could own body armor, everybody in the state of New York should be banned from getting it. And if you have it, you gotta get rid of it. Guys and gals, the numbers for these Bobos will be down below. How to find out who your state representative is in New York. The link will be down there. I'll try to put it in the, the pinned comment. I have to work better. That's my new New Year's resolution though. Try to remember that after I do all the other stuff. But it'll always be in the description so that it'll make it easier for you. Click on it, figure out who your assembly person is or your senator in New York and uh, send them some, some love and uh, refresh their memory about freedom and what it really means and what their oath to uphold and defend these constitutions, what it really means. So please do that. Uh, let them hear your voice. Again, both of these bills pre-filed, they officially become submitted on January 6, 2021. If you're looking for Second Amendment news, this is where you will find it here on Guns and Gadgets, no matter where it happens, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, this is it. So please hit that subscribe button, join this growing freedom family, become one with this community and help us get the news out by liking this video, sharing it with everybody you know. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry your weapon, and I'll see you on the next one. Happy New Year, everybody.